Hello, everybody. Welcome to another Grace Company Live. Hi, everybody. It's exciting. Welcome. So today is going to be another fantastic show. Uh, we're going to kick it off by talking about some products, yeah. uh, especially the ones that you see behind us. Um, but we also have some giveaways. Um, but let's first introduce ourselves. My name is Mark Martin. I'm Carla Jerome. And we also have Nathan Erznaznik. There he is. <laughs> And uh, yeah, so it's going to be exciting. So I think let's maybe get into um, some of the uh, winners from, from last week. Let's head that over to Nathan. Hi, everybody. Uh, welcome. Thanks. Um, excited to be with everybody here. Uh, as we're starting off part of the Fantastic Fall Festival, again, I wanted just to Quickly, just thank everybody who's had a chance to register. If not, you can see on the screen, I do have that up and live as well, encouraging you to take a chance when you can. Um, you'll notice that there's also a quilt festival that we're encouraging people to attend and, and submit your quilts with many different things. But uh, Mark mentioned with Carla that we do have a winner. Um, what we've been doing is we're adding and doing a little bit more every single time as far as what the giveaways are. Um, let me quickly put on screen, which we have uh, for the winner from last um, a lot this week that we're going to be announcing here is we are doing a True Sharp 2, which is our electric rotary blade sharpener. We also will be doing the a five pack of blades and the My Comfort Cutter, which is an ergonomic cutter that does relieve an immense amount of stress uh, from the arm and the wrist. Um, with this now, Carla um, and Mark as well were talking before we started and said, why are we not adding in the ruler and making this part of the full co combination system? And that's a great question. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that My Comfort Cutter and we're going to include the um, what there's combo instead of just that, which includes a 24 and a half by six and a half inch ruler and also a set of true grips that keeps those from falling. And maybe I'll just turn some time back over to Mark and Carla. Maybe just briefly talk a little bit, Mark, about your experience and Carla from what you've seen with these products. Um, again, that we're so excited to be giving away here. So let me go ahead and bring them both on as well. So. Fantastic. That's, those are great giveaways. Absolutely. And now that you've added the ruler and yeah. the grips, you'll be even safer, more accurate, and it's just going to be so easy for you to cut. That's right. And I love starting off the live with the with the right. giveaway, you know, kick it off right. And we have those giveaways. So that's a perfect way to start this. But yeah, as Nathan mentioned, um, let's talk about uh, the cutter, um, the combo and the uh, sharpener. So these are all great gifts. Um, I personally love the quilters combo because it involves the um, main items that people use, the ruler, the six and a half by 25 ruler, the comfort cutter 45 and the uh, pack of true grip. So what a great opportunity that is for that winner. And we're going to get a uh, tossed in here, the, the ruler, here it comes at my feet. So yeah, this is, so this is the ruler, six and a half by 24 and a half ruler. Uh, it's perfect for those who don't know, this ruler has a couple cool features about it. The main one is on the side of the rulers, there, there is about a quarter inch tall track. That interlocks with the cutter. So I'm gonna grab the cutter here. So on the cutter, the cutter comes with a guide. What you can do is interlock that guide with the track to keep you straight and accurate. Right. So that's perfect. But also with this combo comes with true grips and those are nice adhesive clear grips that go on the back of the ruler right. to keep it from spinning around or right. rolling, move in when sliding you're and sliding pushing against it. Yes. Yeah, so. And then Carla, let's talk about these other gifts. We have the sharpener and some blades. Hold them for you. Yeah, we have a five pack of blades and you're going to love these blades. They are sharp and they last a long time. So that is an awesome prize. And five, not just one, there's five in there. And then our True Sharp 2, our electric sharpener, which sharpens your blades, all sizes, both the top and the bottom all at once. And so this is fantastic. You will keep you making quilts for a long, long time to come. Yeah, fantastic prizes. All right, let's set these down. All right. So fantastic, yeah, right? right. Okay. It's, it, yeah. So are we going to get into the 
Well, right now we're going to go back to Nathan. Nathan okay. has a couple of comments. Uh, thanks, everybody. I appreciate it. I did want to come back and again just re reiter reiterate here. I wanted to show everybody. Um, let me get back in here to my screen. So just give me a, a brief minute here. So we can get back and I wanted to show everybody um, what we're looking at and again as part of the registration process. So you'll notice here on the screen to the right, what we're looking at is an option to sign up. Now, we also just sent a newsletter out um, containing a lot of great information regarding several of the people that will be facilitating classes. Uh, we're going to do some things, some trunk shows, which is going to be really fun. In fact, Carla, uh, our, our wonderful Carla, will be doing a trunk show. We have um, Lizzie Allen doing one as well. We have a couple other people who have really become involved with part of the automation process of quilting. Uh, some of those, um, we're even going to be doing an introduction to a little bit of some hand quilting, which we haven't done in a long time. So there's a whole lot of content um, along with um, we're going to be walking through some of those quilts. And I did want to kind of scroll down a little bit to show you here where it talks about submitting your quilt. Um, one of the fun things I like to point out with part of the quilt show is we actually have several different categories. You'll notice the Hall of Shame is one for unfinished projects. Again, we're really looking to have everybody participate made from scrap. What, what does that look like? What are those quilts that you put together from your different scrap pieces. Um, holiday quilts, if there's anything, we talk about the surprise or the oops quilts. Um, I always like kind of joking a little bit with Carla when um, she'll tell me that the quilt wasn't really the same size she started when she finished, it grew or it added or it evolved. And we love to see what some of those surprises or what might happen that was unexpected. Um, we talk about the blood, sweat and tears. And we know uh, sometimes there's a lot of time. And um, I was speaking with somebody here recently who was finishing a hand quilt um, when hand piecing and hand quilting one and it had taken them around 10 years. So again, a lot of different things. And then also one wild imagination, anything goes. And so we are doing, and we have giveaways um, for people to participate. Uh, one is Aaron Everybody who enters will have a chance to win um, a cash prize of $500. We also have a first, a second, and a third place. And some people might ask, well, how is part of this being judged? It's really going to be amongst yourselves with likes and the participation. So with that, I just wanted to kind of clarify that this is a great opportunity to participate. And uh, with that being the case, we're excited to um, being able to continue to support part of this, this experience with content coming up, uh, streaming live starting October 20th. And there will be four live days that continue to go throughout that. Um, with that, we have Mark and Carla. And really quick, Mark and Carla, before I give the time back over to you, I did want to go back to um, the screen. Uh, one of the items I like to kind of point out tomorrow, um, one of the key things that we are going to be giving away is uh, next week, I should say, sorry, on this show will be a Q Zone hoop frame. Now, the two of you are going to be talking about the Q Zone hoop frames more specifically the pro, but this is one of the giveaways. It's a $1,500 retail value. Uh, right now they are on sale as well for $889. And we'll talk a little bit more about promotions later in the show uh, with a free light bar, which is actually from a total value of a over half off. So that's pretty awesome. But with that, Carla, let's go ahead back to you and Mark. And why don't the two of you um, share a little bit more and um, talk with us a little bit about the experience you have with the quilt frame. Perfect. Let's do it. And um, so here are the frames behind us, and we'll 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 get to that. But uh, like Nathan mentioned, so let's enter to win because these are great prizes. These are great prizes. So enter to win, um, and you'll be a, a lucky winner of of one of the hoop trades for next week. And and continue to enter to win with all of our prizes because we will continue to have prizes throughout right. all these live videos. So, and. With this live video, one thing that one of the reasons why we like doing these is the interaction with you, the users. So, at any time throughout this video, uh, comment. Um, let's hear your thoughts, questions. Um, we'll answer them. Um, we'll try to get through all of them. If not, I know Nathan uh, behind the scenes will get to them as well. Uh, so, answer all the questions um, you can, and right. that's you that's can how we call. Mm -hmm. If you so. have some that we don't answer, please call. Yep, exactly. All right. So we have Q-Zone Hoop yes. and the Q-Zone Hoop Pro. Now these two frames are, I mean, there's nothing they can't do, right? When we talk about the machines that could go on them, the ability to stand and sit, and we'll get in some of these features, uh, but let's dive in to, let's look at the um, Q-Zone Pro first. And I'm curious to know, maybe some of our users, if you already have been interested in the Q-Zone Pro at all or the Q-Zone Hoop standard, uh, what machine are you going to put it on? Uh, just some of your thoughts on these two frames. If you've seen them before, if you saw them on our website, I'm curious to hear some of your thoughts. So 
All right, let's look at the QZone uh, Pro. And let's talk about some of the features of the QZone Pro, what it, what it can do. Um, there's not a lot that it can't do. So let's look at some of those features, Carla. Oh, okay. So the first noticeable feature is um, the dual track. Instead of a single track like you have on the original hoop, um, QZone hoop, it, it has dual tracks on the bottom, which is a side-to-side -side movement, and as well as the top, like, which is your front-to-back movement. So that is one awesome feature. Now, you also get these nice table inserts, which are included as well. And you get your awesome leader claws. These are included with the Q-Zone Hoop Pro, as well as the bungee clamps and your top plate. So these are all included to make it just one nice, smooth system so you don't have to purchase these extra accessories. So Yeah, so let's look at some of these from a different angle. So I am gonna focus on the top plate here. So with the top plate, this is where your machine will reside. We have four, I'm gonna show right here. So we have four machine clamps that keeps your machine locked into place right? Your machine will sit right on top of the top plate. So we're talking about domestic machines, machines that you're probably using on your sit down, you're moving your fabric through the throat of the machine. That same machine can sit right on top of, the top of this top plate. And now you're moving your domestic much like you would a long arm. Yes. That's pretty fascinating. And it's simply, and the bottom has wheels. So this top part has nice uh, ball bearing dual wheels that sit right onto the bottom carriage. So we're gonna set that right on top. Now the rest of the frame, we have these quilt clips. Um, as you notice, the frame is four sides, mm -hmm. right Carla? The four sides, mm -hmm, it's a hoop, which allows you to do your king size, queen, table runner, it doesn't matter what size. It doesn't. Mm -mm. So the quilt clips hold down the fabric and I'm gonna actually talk about one of them. Carla, why do you, why do we have these ratchet or the, the grooves in our quilt clips? I'm going to show a nice little picture of that. They tension on your quilt as you're shifting and moving. They allow you to make up, like you were saying, a ratchet. So you can twist and turn it and get that extra tension that you need as you're quilting. Absolutely. So much like the larger frames, they have the ratchets in there. That's what keeps a, the fabric nice and taut. With the hoop frame, because it is four-sided, we need to have that same feature. Right. So it's built in right to the quilt clip. So there's two on each side. So we have two small ones for each side of the of the, the hoop. And then we have two large ones. Let's see one of those large ones. We have two large ones that go on the front of, and they all have the ridges, which are very nice and very simple to use. Well, and they clamp onto a square, Mm -hmm. which is angled so that it allows you to get that extra tension that you need. Absolutely. All right. So we have the carriage. Now this carriage, if not top plate that they can use for larger machines. So if you have a, extension yep. So if there is a, extent, a 16 inch machine or larger, they can still put it on this same carriage yeah. with the handles that adjust out. Yeah, so if you're tired of pushing your fabric through your sit-down machine, even though it has a longer throat, these extension handles you can purchase as an accessory, and they'll extend out to accommodate that extra length and allow you to quilt using your foot pedal. Absolutely. All right, so now, is there any questions that we have pertaining the, the frame? Perfect. Go ahead. Oh, we do have... We do have something. Just, just part of um, I thought maybe really quick, I would just come in and just let you know. Um, I just want to say thanks. There's a lot of comments coming through that are continuously just uh, telling us that they've just purchased a frame or they most recently have. They're getting into using it. So again, we just want to say thanks for everybody for the support with that. Um, we 
have spent a lot of time and I wanted to go back and maybe Mark, you and Carla can just briefly you know, uh, touch on this as well, that Carla, I know you've done several different videos. Um, I know there's a lot of different content out there that talks about loading the frame. I know you're going to show some of this, but maybe just some of the encouragement um, where people can go out and find there's a whole, uh, a lot of information that people can find on the use and the experience they can have with this as well. So I'll just go ahead and turn the time back over to you. So. Thank yeah. you, Nathan. Head to our website and check out the videos. I show you how to put the fabric on the frame. I show you how to use the leader claws. I also have just finished up a video on using the automation on the hoop frame and how you loop your and shift your fabric. So lots of exciting videos to help encourage you as a quilter to move forward in your quilting process, no matter what frame you're using. Absolutely. So the first step we want to do is let's get the machine on, yes. right? Now it's very, very simple. Now with all frames, there is a rail through the throat of the machine, mm -hmm. right? That would go through the throat of the machine. So we're going to take this off and it is done on the sides here. There are three set screws that you can simply take off by just with your thumb and your finger. Right now we only have one. I'm going to take that off. The pole. And Carla will hold that pole. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go ahead and put the machine on. Okay. Now, this machine, you know, is just a, it's a Juki, but it could, like I said, it could be any machine that you have as far as domestic. And it's only nine inch throat, so we're going to go and put that on. And as we do that, let's, there's a question. Let's go ahead and answer the question. What's the question we have? Let's see. So not, not hard to assemble, two person uh, with the instructions, right? And I still comment. And it is not, um, it's well, not hard to assemble. Of all the frames we've ever made, this is absolutely <laughs> the easiest frame to assemble. And really, you can do it. Um, you know, it helps have another person there, but uh, I'm telling you, this is easy to, to assemble. The legs come pre-assembled, so those are already put together. You're just putting on the side. Um, table support and then putting the table on and wow, you're almost done. So, so it is absolutely the easiest frame to assemble. Absolutely. All right, we have another question. All right. So I'm just going to, you guys can see it, but I'm going to read it. It says, uh, wow, love the look of the pro. It is a fan. It is a beautiful frame it is. and it's very simple. Um, it says it can do up to a king size and can take a long arm, um, at a later date. And it's from the UK. So right. that's absolutely correct. Well, so welcome. yeah. <laughs> and that's what the hoop allows you to do. That's why we called it a hoop because you will need to have the fabric draped over all four sides of the frame in order to do that king size quilt. So yeah, king or smaller. Um, and just like that comment was, perfect opportunity to start with the smaller right. and go big. Yeah, it's actually the frame I started out with at home. I did not have the room. And this allowed me to quilt mm -hmm. at home and continue doing what I love. Absolutely. What's nice is, I mean, let's talk about, we could do five inch machine on there, seven, right. nine, you know, 11. The largest machine this will go up to is a 19 inch throat machine. Right, right. Because this pole right here will extend out towards me to allow a larger quilt area. Absolutely. Okay, so let's start the fun, right? Let's go ahead and fabric on because we're going to actually show you and because we're showing the hoop pro um i put the leader cloths on the the quilt that we're going to demonstrate with and i'll give you a hand yeah and you'll notice that the leader cloths come with this little rope it actually makes it easier for you to start rolling your fabric yeah. so and let's talk about that real quick as you're doing that. So what she'd mentioned, um, yeah, so the cloth leader has a rope. So unlike the traditional, um, the traditional frames that have a rolling rail that you advance the fabric by the rail through the throat and it rolls and it gets bigger and bigger and bigger, that actually starts eliminating the throat space. With the cloth leader that the uh, hoops um, have, it has a soft roll built in. And what that allows you to do is once you have the soft rope, 
you could then actually shift. You can move your fabric um, on top of the rail mm -hmm. so it does not take away your throw space. All right, and notice that it allows you to quilt all the way to the edge of your quilt. So you're not, you can, you can quilt all the way to the edge and fill up every inch of that beautiful quilt that you spent so much time piecing. Absolutely. And, and I'm just going to hang it so it kind of drapes over the edge right here so that I can start quilting here. On perfect. Side. And I'm going to move my... Let's grab those. Yeah, I need a lot to take care of, but... We're going What's, to move it down so that I can start quilting at the edge. And we'll look at hooping the fabric. I know that's a few questions uh, or thoughts that people have when they're quilting. Mm -hmm. So we'll go ahead and get that also um, talked about as we, as we uh, look at the process. So I'm just clamping on the top clamps first. And you need to, if you need to adjust your elastic straps to hold them in place, you just do because they are adjustable. As you're, as you're quilting, it'll get larger. You'll get a larger bulk of fabric right here on top. And you want to be able to have them adjust. Yes. And if you don't have them attached, you will know. Because they will catch on the bottom of your carriage. So make sure that you get them all attached. And now I'm just going to pull it straight forward. And I'm going to clamp it straight down. Perfect. And you know what? I can let Carla do this by herself. I just wanted to help. So but one person can easily do this. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and let her finish it up. And there's the uh, quilt clip underneath this. It. So, okay. I'm just going to ratchet it. Okay, and we're ready. Perfect. And let's grab that last quilt clip to go on the side over here. That's right. Yeah. Now, what's nice with. Oh, I thought I looked at my first one. So, as we get it on, and as we notice, like I said, that could easily be done with just you, Carla, doing that. Um, I wanted to help because um, I, I enjoy helping. But you can see that the fabric is nice and taut. Um, everything's nice and straight. And it was very simple to put on. So you're not losing, you're not really losing anything that you would on a standard longer frame. No, and it allows you to quilt how you want to quilt. Yep. So if you wanted to quilt um, from this edge or this edge, or if you had to turn the quilt to quilt a specific direction, Using a hoop frame allows you to do that. Um, on a rolling frame, you don't have that option. No. Well, before we get started, it's going to be hard to start without the machine plugged in. So I'm going to walk back there, and we're going to plug it in. And we'll go ahead and uh, uh, let's get the camera on to Nathan. has a couple of thoughts. Wonderful. I thought, Mark, maybe I can just use this as a, a quick uh, bit to clarify a couple of things, just making sure from what I've heard and maybe what the... Uh, the viewers might also be seeing. I know you talked about, again, on this pro frame, Carly, you talked about the track system. So I love talking to consumers that we have a professional frame we call the continuum and the tracking system on that is, that is bar none, one of the best in the entire industry. It's uh, one of those that you'll see. Um, we've designed, we've done a lot of design on a lot of other, uh, with a lot of other brands. We have great engineering, but we have this special dual track where there's a little bit of a pyramid that then lets that carriage perfectly ride and in increases the precision and the smoothness at which that rides. And so the Q-Zone Pro hoop frame has that special dual track. Um, I don't know. I think we saw there a little bit in part of the, the video that it has the plastic back. So the table that comes with it as well. And I like to talk about that whole unit is welded. So that's one entire welded system on the Q-Zone Hoop Frame Pro. And Carla, one of the last things you mentioned again, just to kind of re-clarify, is that leader cloth. Now we do find that a lot of people do buy that um, as an extra add-on for the Q-Zone, the standard hoop frame. Um, again, there's quite a bit of difference in some of the prices. Um, what we're gonna get, we'll look at some of those prices here in a minute, but um, those are three of the key things I like to talk about. You get the leader cloth, you're getting the table inserts, and then you're getting this dual 
dual track system on the bottom of the frame as well as part of that Q-Zone Hoopframe Pro. Um, I have a lot of people commenting as well as I'm kind of looking at this. A lot of people, thank you very much. A lot of people have bought, um, they've talked about upgrading or they've bought it with a 15 inch machine. Uh, some people have it with a 19 inch machine. So again, that is a perfect combination for those that um, maybe decided and you've started with the domestic machine and found that you like the experience of quilting, but you're looking for the wider area or the larger quilting surface. And so definitely, uh, there is an upgrade path. And at the end, I know one of the big things, Carla, you want us for sure to mention, and I'll just kind of drop a, a hint and a seed is you can also automate on this frame. So we're not going to talk about that right now. I know Carla has a couple quilts she's going to share with us that she's done on the hoop frame. Uh, we'll show and tell with that and we'll, we'll get there in a little bit. But I just wanted to bring those couple things up and then turn some time back over to you guys. And Carla, you can do your demonstration back with uh, quilting through that. So thanks. comment before you start just like nathan mentioned most everything that this frame comes with is really reserved for the high-end frames right. that this frame at the price um, especially this month with it being um, on sale right. that's a phenomenal thing to have with the welded tabletop the cloth leaders um, and the dual track system so those are really reserved on the high-end frames and it comes with this little uh, pro frame so that's fantastic all right that's one thing I wanted to comment on is that if you have the original Q Zone hoop frame, you can upgrade and make it a dual wheel. And, and you know, so just know that you can have the option to do that. Absolutely. All right. So the leader cloth does not come the with leaders, the upgrade, though. Yeah, they don't come with the right. upgrade, but you probably already have them. But I just wanted to show you with the leaders. Not only do you get this top leader with the cording, you also get a bottom leader, which is an extra wide, and side leaders for your side tension on your frame. So the leaders come complete. Don't worry. Um, you get both sides. And so I'm just going to pull my machine forward. I have to find my foot pedal here. <laughs> and make sure that you bring your presser foot down so it lands on the fabric. If you don't, then you'll have a little nest underneath. And I'm going to pull my bobbin thread up by doing my, having my needle go down and come back up. And I'm just going to turn it on and we're going to sew. All right. I'm not going to do too much on it, but I'm just going to show you and as I'm quilting, I'm just going to go across as far as I can. Then I'm going to get in my nice rolling chair and move it down. Then I'm going to come back this way. Oh, my clamp came off. There we go. And I get the back of the machine. So I'm just going to go across to do my one row. And yes, I would roll it down. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. So now I'm ready because I don't want to hit my side to shift my quilt so I can finish quilting along the edge. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unclamp it. And Carla, since I like to help, I'm actually going to just sit and I'm going to watch you do this so we can let the viewers see how okay. easy it is with with one person doing this. And I like to stand up when I'm doing this. I mean, I love to sit and quilt, but I'm going to stand up to shift the quilt along. Just makes it a little faster, so it's easy. And I'm going to take my clamps off. Now, I like to leave the needle in, okay? But I'm going to gently slide it down. So I'm not going to pull on my fabric. I'm going to gently. Very simple. Okay. Yeah, very, very simple. And while she's doing that, Carla, there's a question. Okay. Um, so Melissa, she needs to secure the fabric on her left side, which is correct, Melissa. You know, when, when there were, uh, when the fabric was all the way to the right, the bungee on that side would hold it in. Um, and because it does come with it, so we have, but right now, Melissa, to your, to your point, we're going to keep the fabric draped over both sides, but she's absolutely right. When the fabric is 
hanging over one side, because it does come with bungees, you would use the bungee on the side that the fabric is not attached with. So here's the pack. So you would actually get um, one or two of these. Uh, it comes two for each side, so you could use one or two. But yeah, Melissa, you're right, so you would secure it. So right now, we're actually, we're actually gonna secure it with the quilt clips on all four sides. So now I am ready to continue on. So let's real quick look at this process because I know hooping the fabric can be a, of a struggle or daunting or scary. And people always ask, like, how do I realign what you just did as you shifted it? So let's talk about the process you just did and how easy was that? Well, it was really easy. Um, most quilts will be pieced. And so you will be able to have your squares so you can line them up. And you can see if they're on straight. But when you're free motion quilting, you can move with the quilt. As long as it's not too skiwampus, you know, you'll be able to keep your design nice and straight with the quilt. Um, so it's not hard to do. Um, it's necessary on you when using the hoop frame. Um, and it doesn't bother me. Once you've done it, once you get in the rhythm of quilting, you'll enjoy it so much that you won't even think about having to unclamp and put the clamps back on because you love quilting. True statement. That's very true. Okay. Right, so and then I just continue on. And that's all I'm gonna do is my little hoops. And you're just going to continue on all the way across until you get to the edge. Okay. And that's how you hoop or shift and rezone your quilt. Absolutely. Well, thank you, Carla. Let's uh, let's go back over to Nathan. He has a couple of uh, stuff you want to talk about. The frame and the sizes. Yeah, one thing I thought about, maybe I would just bring up, there have been a lot of questions as well, just looking about, you know, there's a lot of first time users. I'll be honest with you, that's mainly who we're selling to are people moving into quilting for the first time. So I thought I would just kind of show you a couple different things. Uh, one is the YouTube channel. This is the Grace YouTube channel. You'll notice that uh, there's just a stream of Q-Zone, 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 Q-Zone hoop frames. Uh, I, my fact, even did a quick video where I went through an entire quilt with the domestic machine like Carla is using now and just showed you that process of clipping it and quilting it and moving through that all. So um, there's a lot of information that we do have to help you feel a little bit more comfortable um, with the Q-Zone hoop frame. Again, loading the fabric, um, the experience of what that means when you're moving from zone to zone. Uh, Carla does one uh, with that fabric with the leader cloth. And then there is uh, there are some instructions that we also talk about if you want to run a slightly larger backing um, to utilize without the leader cloth. Again, um, both ways are an availability. Um, leader cloth tends to make that a little bit easier and obviously is a, a great thing to do. You can make it with muslin or again, buy a set as well. So I wanted to bring those couple key things up and then let me go back to the Q-Zone hoop frame page and I thought I would just highlight a couple things that I like talking about again putting this on screen when we talk about that dual track system um, this is what the dual track looks like um, we've talked a little bit about the adjustments where the frame can allow bigger machines to move in through those um, yes we are sitting at this frame right now but you can fully stand and it does have those leveling feet so I just wanted to bring a couple of those up um, earlier, Mark and Carla also, one of the other questions that somebody else wanted to ask is the size of the frame. Is there a difference between the Q-Zone hoop from Pro and the Q-Zone hoop frame? They're actually the same physical type dimensions in their width and in their depth. They just have uh, that Pro does come up with key things. Things, the the dual track the the bull inserts and the leader cloth as part of those so with that we'll go back over to you with part of your quilting process but I did want to bring those up here just briefly to uh, talk about um, some of those things maybe let me click over here really quick I thought that this would be another 
another fun one really quick. And people were asking, because there's been a lot of people purchasing. Um, somebody also mentioned, I saw that you have the other Q zone frames. So are all the Q zone frames on sale? They currently are. So you're looking right now that the Q zone hoop frames on sale for 889. Um, we also have a queen version of this frame and the pro. So here's the pro hoop frame. That one's on sale for 1,189. And we would encourage you to go to your local dealer. You can log online at graceframe.com and search for a dealer in your region or your area. If it's an international one, we'd encourage you to look for grace frame because we do have dealers uh, and groups in in canada and the uk and europe um, even south africa australia new zealand so there are several um, in your region hopefully that we can look at hooking you up with this is that q zone queen frame a little bit different again we're not really focusing on this frame but just so you can see there is quite a wonderful sell going on and right now um, these frames we're also including a light bar as part of that combination package as well so i just wanted to kind of point that out and let me go ahead and take some time back over to uh the two of you and we'll um go ahead and keep it going so thanks all right fantastic you know we talk about you sitting right now you sitting right and nathan mentioned that you know because we're sitting you could also stand so there are accessories that if your machine is compatible with our uh, stitch regulator or the speed control right. that allows you then you know to stand um you could also sit using those as well but if you stand uh, you don't have to worry about maybe managing your foot pedal at that point right yeah so it's nice features you know check them out check out if your machine is compatible with our stitch regulator if you have questions you can please call you know don't be afraid to think that you don't know it all because that's what we're here for. Absolutely. I saw one of the questions uh, talked about how how tall does that rail to the throat machine need to be? Like where where would you set it? Oh, this, um, notice the height of your hand. I mean, if you can get your hand under there, it's just right. If you get it too high, which you can, um, you will not have your needle go down and catch the bobbin thread. And so it's very difficult for you to quilt and um, so this pole right here and this pole right here are all adjustable. Different, different machines are different heights, they're different widths. And so we've made it so it'll accommodate most any of those machines. Perfect. And like Carla said, you get adjust the height of these rails. There are different, there are simply a nice little tab. It's probably hard to see right now on video. Right oh, you can see them. Yep, right there. Right oh, yeah, going. It was perfect. Right yeah, right there. Right here. That's where you adjust on both sides, raising and lowering to fit your machine. Absolutely. Okay. Um, any? Do we have any other questions on the hoop pro frame that we would want to get to, Nathan? Or the hooping process. Or the hooping process. Do you understand, you know, how you shift it from side to side and start moving down your quilt? Mm -hmm. Maybe let's talk about. I know one of the um, is the la layers. Like, what's the best way to get the fabric onto the hoop frame? Because you know this is a no base frame, right? Right. Just much like the longer frames, no base frame. So, what would one do when they have their fabric ready to go on? You're just going to sandwich all three layers together. So you're going to have your backing, your batting, and your top, and you're going to sandwich it. Is what they call it. Okay. And I have pinned it to my leaders, but there have been times that I my backing's been wide and long enough that I haven't even used the leaders. I just wanted to get it on and start quilting it. But knowing that if you're going to do it that way, you do have to have your backing mm. wider and longer to accommodate sewing all or quilting all the way to the edge of your top. Perfect. So when you sandwich them together, that's when you'd want to put. Right. That sandwich on the frame. The frame. Okay. And, and like just like I did with the leaders, it, you're doing the same thing, it just doesn't have the leaders. Wonderful. Okay. So that is the Hoop Pro. Right. All right. Now let's quickly adjust our attention to the standard frame, right? right? And it's right behind us. Um, now, or maybe do you want to do a couple show and tells? I know you made a lot oh, that's of. That's okay. You know, all these. Quilts are quilted on hoop frames. Yeah, so. but let's, yeah, let's show some of them. Um, um, I'm going to move this. My pineapple quilt, which is a quilt that you saw when you just started advertising the hoop frame. <laughs> it was just free motion, and, and I quilted it on the hoop frame because, you know, it's really important for us to test all of these uh, frames and machines 
And so I do a thorough testing. And so this little pineapple quilt was free motion. And I just, you know, quilted it on the hoop frame and I just shifted it and adjusted it and rolled, rolled it up and it turned out pretty cute. <laughs> so it's, quilting is so much fun and I have a real passion for it. And this is a way for me to excite you who want to get into quilting. So Absolutely. Well, we have a question and that's this question. I want to make a comment on the word you just said. So do you use anything to hold the layers together prior maybe to putting you it on? You can spray base if you would like. I do not like to base at all. So if you are more comfortable with basting your quilt, please be my guest and do it. I have never basted it. Uh, I just hate the process. So, but if you feel that you need that as a quilter, I do not want to stop you from quilting the way you like to quilt and the security of basting. So please spray base. I would use that rather than pinning. Um, because you'd have to undo the pins as you're quilting. So yeah, use a spray base if you like. That's perfect, you know, and it's not so much kind of the the, the right process and the only process. It's right. whatever works best for you at that time. So if it is okay. the spray base, the pinning, um, no spraying, okay. it's whatever you choose um, works with you, I would continue to go down that, that same path. Right. And you can see on the back of the quilt that you can see my pineapples. So it's kind of fun. Fantastic. All right. So okay. now you've done many other quilts too, other than this pineapple quilt on the hoop a lot frame. Of quilts and you will see them in my trunk show. <laughs> but um, you can quilt with the automation. And that was one thing mm -hmm. I wanted you all to know that you can upgrade your system to a longer arm machine and add the automation. And you don't have to do it all at once, you can do it in bits and pieces. And that's what makes this so nice. And as you grow as a quilter, you're ready for that next step and ready to learn a new process. So this system allows you to quilt with any, with the automation and without, so. That's perfect. And that's what I, you know, I get a lot of calls on the phone and it's the, pat, it's the growth. It's, you right. don't need the entire package, right? We're talking about starting out with your own domestic machine with a frame that's on sale this month. From there, you can do the quilt motion, just like Carla had mentioned, which most of these quilts you see hanging up have been done by quilt motion on these smaller frames. Right, and the automation is so intuitive to the hoop frame. We're the only ones who make automation that works with this hoop frame process. And it tells you where to shift your quilt, tells you where to mark it, move it, and it is fun. You will enjoy that process. So. If you're hesitating and you already have a hoop frame, and don't hesitate. It is easy to do. Absolutely. All right, so let's just quickly touch just about the feature on the hoop. You know, very okay. similar to the Pro, so there's not a lot of differences, uh, but there are a couple that I wanna point out. Uh, the track system, right? So the track system, a single track, um, and we mentioned the dual track. And so what that means is just there's one track that the bottom carriage rides on, mm -hmm. right? The carriage is still the same, right? Right Now this frame is, you can see, hopefully you can tell by the images, that it's open, mm -hmm. right? So it's open, uh, it does not come with the table. However, you can get the table right. when you feel like it. It's, it's not needed unless there's a couple of, right. or maybe some uh, quilting processes that you would want it for. Yeah, if you wanted to follow a canograph from the back of your, you know, machine, you could. Mm -hmm. And then also the cloth leaders is one that also right. doesn't come with it. Right, but you can add those as well. So if you already have the Q-Zone hoop frame and you don't have the cloth leaders in CNN today, you can purchase them as an accessory. And um, yeah, so go ahead and check it out. Perfect. Now with that too, the cloth leaders are not being on, you know, on there. It's one that you can buy, which is this frame being on sale this month is, you know, eight eighty nine for the month of October. So it is a three hundred dollars less than the pro, right. and then you could always add those features that we talked about, or there's a process that um, right. as you want to. So um, great, great questions, and it's good to see that um, that pineapple quilt. Let's let's head over to Nathan uh, with a few other um, um, thoughts. Wonderful. Thank you, uh, Mark and Carla. I did want to quickly 
um, bring up a, a couple of things. There's been a lot of people who have been asking questions about um, several different things regarding uh, potential compatibility on machines, um, other things regarding potentially how the frame really works in full. And I would encourage you uh, to feel free to call our 800 number, our one 800 Two six four zero six four four. You can see that up in the upper right hand corner for any questions. In general, I just kind of want to put that out there. I shared this uh, here in the, the messaging, but I thought this would be great just for everybody to hear this. I like to talk about a couple key things. The hoop frame in general, its major function is to do two things. One is manage fabric. So if you've been pushing or moving uh, the fabric around, a lot of times when we've talked with the quilters, uh, we've talked with you, you, you're talking about that it's bulky, it gets heavy. You're probably just doing some straight lines because there is a little bit of a struggle with the overall space. Carla did show uh, that fabric that it clips and it does sit on top of the rail. And what we found is you can move that in and out of the way of the machine. So you end up with a little bit more space than just randomly letting that fabric sit. Um, part of uh, what you get is the second biggest is the motion. So um, if you think about drawing and signing your name, I always love people. I said, great, take your writing hand, then switch your pen to your other hand, but without moving it, take a sheet of paper and try to sign your name. Name it's upside down and backwards. So with that being the case, I really think that uh, gliding that machine over the surface is one of the other biggest advantages that people get because it's familiar. We've drawn and we, we sign our names and it's how we paint. It's how we do... Uh, that process normally. So it makes it easy to transition and move that machine over the fabric surface. Um, with that, I like to talk about expectations though really quick as well. What does that mean? When I get home, I'm going to start to quote with this and I have my domestic machine. Usually there's two different types of people. Uh, one is uh, people who will never feel like they're looking to move to a different machine or a bigger machine or anything else because they'll do their one or two quilts uh, a year and they're going to be absolutely happy. We do find a second person. This person starts to use this and it's a, it's a good and a bad thing. I think what they find is uh, they would say it potentially is frustration. I think it's that they find that there's this new freedom, but they want more of that freedom is what I like to talk about. So at a certain point, people find that, oh, I'll buy a dedicated machine for this. So I don't have to take my domestic machine on and off. Um, some of those same people think, well, let me buy a larger machine. So let's move into that mid arm category and they look to upgrade. And so that's kind of usually the two customers. They're going to be fine with their domestic machines that you're going to start with. We find that if people start to quilt more and more and more, we, we want conveniences and I'd love to talk about cars. I know myself, um, I won't have a car without my auto climate control. So is that a convenience? Sure. But uh, a choice I'm wanting to make in my car, thus the same that might be when you're quilting, you might find that you want a bigger machine that has built in stitch regulation. Carla mentioned, and she showed you a brief couple things. Maybe you're looking for computer automation as well. Those are available and understand that's part of the progression path, not necessarily something that has to be at the beginning. People start at all levels. So some people jump all the way in with automation on a mid arm or a 19 inch on the frame. Um, um, we have most of our customers who do not. They'll buy the frame and start with their domestic machine. And over a period of time, they either find that they're ready for more and then they'll purchase more and that frame's set up to do so. So I wanted to bring those key things up. Again, a big one is for other questions, feel free to go to our website um, at graceframe.com. Um, let me put that up really quick for everybody. Um, if it's not the website, I would encourage everybody as well. Um, to feel free to give our give us a call at our 800 number um, regarding that. So we'll go ahead and turn some time back over to Carla and um, Mark really quick. And then what we can do here is we're kind of wrapping up. I'll come back and talk about some of the last fall promotions that we have that pertain to the 15 inch machine uh, with the frames and the 19 inch machine with frames, uh, et cetera. So let's go ahead and turn the time back over to the, the two of you. There are two things I want to touch on. Um, I noticed a couple of comments. One, you know, going back to what Nathan mentioned with the the size of uh, machine that could go on here. Now, earlier he showed the carriage on our website. If you go to our website, and he could probably pull this up, it gives the dimensions on that top plate. Now, I would just say to be quick about this is pretty much any domestic machine um, that smaller, well, that's that's smaller than 19 inches would fit onto this frame. And on our website, our carriage it showed the dimensions, the sizes, um, so it does fit a nice wide base. And it does go pretty long. So most domestic machines would fit on there. The other question I noticed was folding up the frame or maybe taking it apart when it's not in use. And that's a great question. Um, with it being so small, if you don't have the room to keep it up, it is held by just four simple um, braces on each side. Right. And those can come off. So you're talking about 16 
um, 16 screws. You just take those out and then the legs come away and you can just set that aside. So it's a quick and easy, um, just several minutes of taking it apart and you can store it. So, um, but overall, as we kind of talked about, kind of wrapping this back up, you know, what a great frames these are from the standard to the pro, um, the upgrade path from starting with your domestic, right, Carla, to a longer machine. Um, the ability to do the king size quilts on something smaller is never, you know, has never been done. So it's fascinating to see. Right. And thank you for joining us. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll back over to Nathan. I appreciate all the questions as well. Mm -hmm. well Nathan, the uh, fall uh, promotion. Um, uh, it is big, so make sure you're seated to see all these great deals. Wonderful. With that, I thought I'd just kind of bring this up on screen with us, and I'm going to kind of scroll through this again so you can see. We just talked about the hoop frames. They are on sale. I would encourage you, if you've thought about this in the past now, is a, it has not been a better time or a better chance to decide to get into uh, one of these Q-Zone or these zoning frames that we have. Uh, you'll see that there's the Q-Zone hoop frame on sale for $889. you will see that we have the Pro on sale for um, $1,189. Um, we do have the Queen again. Those that have questions and want more of a roller style frame, um, there are certain machines that do work very, very well with these. We do recommend what we call a speed control or a stitch regulator. Again, um, this particular thing that we're sharing today is not to answer necessarily those questions, but feel free to go to our website or call any of our customer service agents. They'll be more than glad to help look and see if your machine does have compatibility. Uh, again, note that with these frames, they do come with light bar. So that's a great additional accessory that adds a lot of illumination or light to the system. Um, we also have the continuum frame. Um, that is one that a lot of the brands, the, you know, Baby Locks, Jukies, uh, Janomis, uh, there's Fa Vikings. There's a lot of the different machines out there, brothers, that we also have stitch regulation available. And this frame is one that you can start with your domestic machine. Again, it does require a speed control or stitch regulation, but you can use up to a 21 inch machine on this frame as you decide to upgrade. Um, I wanted to get really into this next big one here really quick, which is the frame machine combo. Um, what we're doing for October as part of a precursor to our fantastic fall festival as we move through that is our promotions with our dealers as well. So you can look at your local dealer is you buy a machine and that would be any one of our main machines and we're including the frame for free. So if you look at this 15, what we have is we have three different machines. We have a manual machine. Um, this one is not stitch regulated. That one is on sale for $3,499. 95 and that one does come with a free Q zone hoop frame or the Q zone queen frame. So any one of these 15 inch machines come with the Q zone queen or the Q zone queen frame as a free addition to that. You'll notice the 15 R. This is our most popular machine. This one is stitch regulated with multiple modes. It has basting. It has two different forms of stitch regulation, a cruise, a standard precise. And the one we also call, um, we have a manual mode in there. And yes, you can do things like ruler work with different types of feats and you can add to them. Um, you can also add automation down the road with that as well. And you'll notice here to the right is the 15 Pro machine. This is the, our premium 15 inch machine that does have a touchscreen a little faster with its stitching. It's a little bit newer, a little bit more precise. That one's on sale for $4,999 and 95 cents. And so with that, I'm going to kind of just keep coming up here, but you'll see that's the 15 machine in a combination. We will be talking about this one next week. And so next week's product review, we're going to talk about this particular machine size the 15 and the 15 Pro. Um, well, actually, the 15R is what we'll have. We'll be talking and demonstrating quilting and using the different functions with that machine on the Q-Zone. And we're doing that because next week, what we're doing is remember, we're giving away. So make sure to register um, for the Fantastic Fall Festival. We're giving away a Q-Zone hoop frame for a winner next time. And what we'll be doing as well is we'll be um, looking at demoing what we'll be giving away in two weeks, which will be actually this complete combo you can see on the screen, which is the Q-Zone. It'll be the 15R and the Q-Zone hoop frame will be what we'll be giving away. We also have 19 inch machines that you can look at uh, that does come with this pro frame that Carla and Mark have been talking about. So if you buy the 19, you get a chance to select the queen or the Q-Zone hoop frame pro. Um, and that package price you're looking at there is $6,999.95. And then some people really are looking at potentially upgrading to the bigger continuum or the more professional frame. You can do that for an additional $1,000. Um, ultimately, you know, from Grace Company, we produce and we also manufacture professional long arms. Uh, we have our 21 Pro and our 21 as well that are both on sale. Both of those also.
So do come with the uh, hoop. Um, I mean, sorry, come with the frame as part of that. Um, the 19, one of the additional things we're doing with these 21s and with this 19 machine is we're also including the light bar in those machine combos. So with that, maybe I can just turn uh, as I kind of maybe will come up and look at concluding here, just a, again, an appreciation from our side, from everybody joining and having a chance to uh, visit and be a part of this experience. And then maybe I can just turn the last bit of this back over to Mark and Carla to share uh, again, your excitement that you've had. I know Carla, as you've been working with the hoop frame and then part of this fantastic fall festival. And obviously we have some really good promotions going on right now. So I'll turn the last bit of this back over to the two of you. So thanks. Nathan. Hi, Carla. What do you have? Uh, I love it. Um, ever since we produced the very first hoop frame, I was a little skeptical and I thought, how can we pull time? Well, I was the lucky recipient. I got to test it and it just has opened my eyes and allowed me, like I said, to quilt at home because it's the frame that I can fit in my basement and I can continue quilting. I have to come down to work and quilt. I love the hoop frame and I know you will too. It will open the doors for you to move forward in your quilting. Perfect, thank you, Carla. And again, thank you for all the, uh, the viewers, yeah. uh, for Thanks all the for questions. Watching. Um, I know there's a lot of questions we probably didn't get to, so right. let's make sure we get to those. I know a lot of you guys are still commenting, so thank you for the comments. Uh, we appreciate um, everything again, and I know we want to look at um, the winner from last week. Let's go ahead and pop that on there. So the winner was Kimberly Harmon. So I don't have any confetti to throw, so I'm. Uh, this is fake confetti. <laughs> so there it is. So wonderful winner of the... Um, the True Cup product right. that we went over at the beginning. And so how does she let us know how to get it to her? Um, yeah, looks like she already submitted her okay. contact information awesome. so we can get that out to you, Kimberly. So congratulations on that. And again, thank you for all the viewers. And please uh, let your friends know, um, anybody you can share with about these videos. We'll continue to do these. And please continue to comment um, and bring your thoughts. And so we, we're very excited. So... Thank you again. We appreciate it, and we'll see you next time. All right. Bye-bye.